how you doing everybody uh, welcome to a, another review corner but this is more of a Kickstarter preview um, I've always enjoyed DVG games and Dan version makes some of the best games I played a matter of fact I'll give you a hint one of them's in my top 50 of all time now and, and 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 the rest of them pretty much are in my top hundred. I could pretty easily say that too if I had to. And I, I love everything that that company does. The production quality, everything, everything that they do is just professional and the way things should be done. But they're known for a lot of solo games, and I enjoy that. But there's also some really good two-player games, and this one that they've just decided to come out with is Pavlos. Pavlov's House, the Battle of Stalingrad. Now, this is a historic battle that this house was a key, key component in the Battle of Stalingrad. They have painstakingly taken the time to go through historical documents, books, to make sure that this game is accurate. And I am absolutely blown away by what they have. Now, they have some great instructional videos that will tell you how the gameplay goes. I've played it a few times, but it would take me close to 30 minutes to do that. But what I want to do is give you a preview and let you know that there are 15 days left to get on the Kickstarter here. 15 days. It's already funded, but I think you're really going to want to get in this so we can unlock the rest of the stuff because Dan does not do things cheaply. He goes all out. And if we can get all these unlocked, you're talking miniatures and everything else. But let's go down and take a look at the prototype map. Now, these components are not the final components. These are printed out so we can show you guys and give you an idea that this Kickstarter is out there. So let's go down to the table, take a look, and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Pavlov's house was a fortified apartment building used as a strong point by the Soviet 62nd Army during a pivotal battle of Stalingrad. And that's depicted on this map. Now, we're going to take a look at this map. This is a very, very big map. But there's a couple ways that you win and lose on. Well, basically, you, you win by getting at least one victory point. Anything else, you lose. And there are a couple of ways that you actually can play this. You can play this as a two-player co cooperative, three-player cooperative, or you can play 1v1, which is really, really cool. There's ways to, to increase the difficulty. And there's a whole bunch of things that really go on with this that are very interesting. At the beginning of the turn, you're going to be able to pull uh, three of these cards where you have actions on the top and on the bottom. And you're able to do three actions. So you're going to be able to have four cards, but you can only use three. And you cannot use the actions, uh, both actions on a card. You have to pick one of them in order to use them. But let's take a look at this map and, and, and talk a little bit more about this. Now, as you can see, we have a massive map here. And it takes up almost the whole table. As you can see, we have different... Uh, areas of views. We have a, a complete map where it shows exactly where the house was and of course all of Stalingrad. Then we are down here where you have it on a town level where you can actually see the house and where the 6th Army is converging in. This is the German play area. This is a Soviet play area and then actually you have the house itself where you will actually take figures from history and you will assign them and uh, with three actions each turn to defend this house which is actually where you are defending where you're seeing where all the Germans are coming in to try to uh, defeat you this is just absolutely incredible on such a level that you can break it down into three three actual stages um, I'm, I'm completely blown away by this and this level here just being able to defend their actual their actual Pavlos house is just something I find very incredible but let's go see what I think and talk about it more up top Wow that's all I can say is wow 
I love how they've already unlocked that this board's going to be mat a, a, a matted board. And I love how this game is broken up into three sections. You have the house, then you have the town, then you have the wide-angle map. The, the Germans are played on one section. Uh, just when, when I was going through this and I was studying and, and, and really reading and, and coming up to this, I was blown away. And then when I messed around and played, uh, played with it, I was just like, oh my God, how soon can Dan get this made so I can get a copy? This easily is going to be one of my most anticipated games of the year. I, uh, I really, really want to get my hands on this because this is just such an interesting theme done to perfection. And, and you know, Dan picks great games. And that's why DVG is one of the best companies out there. They do things beyond belief and they're always professional. If you ever have a problem, they take care of it. The quality, you never have to worry about quality. If there's a problem, he fixes it. This is a class organization making class games. I'm telling you right now, jump on the Kickstarter. Let's get the rest of these these uh, things unlocked. You got 15 days left. Guys, again, Pavlov's House, the Battle of Stalingrad. You cannot go wrong with a DVG game. He is one of the best, and I really, really enjoy this game. This game I think I like better than some of the games that have already been out by DVG. So go check it out on Kickstarter. And guys, until next time, I'm Rob Bourne. We'll see you we'll see you soon.